Over the last half century, mankind has increasingly been expanding into space. However, a hidden danger lurks in the darkness, and it causes the materials to degrade over time, leading to an inevitable death of the expensive hardware. Hello space enthusiasts! You are watching Captain Corrosion and in this video you will learn how atomic oxygen contributes to the corrosion in space. My name is Maido and I am a material scientist specialized in corrosion, nanotechnology and materials characterization. So let's get started. Oxygen normally comes in three forms. Here on the planet Earth we breathe oxygen that consists of two oxygen atoms. And uh, high up in the stratosphere we have ozone that consists of three atoms. Even further away from the Earth, however, we find mostly only atomic oxygen. Stable molecules cannot form there, as they are immediately broken apart by radiation. This single oxygen is highly reactive, and it will react with the surface of unprotected spaceship parts, including electronics, degrading them over time. So, anything that can be oxidized will be oxidized. This includes both metals, but also polymers. With metals it can be troublesome, but it's not that bad, because the formed oxide layers can be quite durable. With polymers it's a completely different story, however, because uh, along with radiation and uh, particles bombarding its surface, the polymers quickly erode away. In low Earth orbit things can get a bit more complicated, as there is also a significant amount of molecular oxygen mixed with atomic oxygen. When the spacecraft orbits the planet at this low altitude, its high-speed collision with both forms of oxygen is unavoidable. As a result, the particles smash into the spacecraft at incredible speeds, causing the materials to oxidize at an increased rate. But also, the newly formed oxide layer gets quickly eroded away. So, how can we prevent corrosion caused by oxygen? One way is to coat the materials with a thin layer of gold. Gold is suitable for this purpose because it normally cannot react with oxygen. Another option is to apply a thin ceramic layer such as silicon dioxide, which is already oxidized, so it cannot bind any more oxygen. This is pretty much the basics of this type of corrosion. So, thank you for watching. If you want to see more similar videos in the future, then click on this subscribe button over here and check out the Captain Corrosion channel. Also, be sure to see the video's description for additional information and leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below.